To connect OTG in Samsung A14, if it's a USB-C OTG, just connect it with the charging cable. If not, you will need an adapter. Now the OTG is connected, either if it's a storage device, it will show in the My Files app. I'll cover it if it doesn't, and it should be under storage. Mine doesn't, so I'll show you in a bit. But if it's a mic, it will automatically work in the camera app or any app that uses a microphone. Otherwise, you may need to get an app for your OTG device from Google Play. So if your OTG is not working, like mine is, we will first open settings, then scroll all the way down until we see where it says the battery and device care. In this one, you're going to go into the storage option. And so we should have the option to view the OTG device. If we don't even have this option, your OTG device needs to be formatted. There's sometimes an option to tap on the OTG and then format it. If we don't have this option, you will need to do the formatting on your computer and this will wipe all the files. So please back up your files, you know, save them to your computer, then format the drive, then plug it back in. You can format it, to it in NTFS or FAT32. If you use something else like APFS, this won't work. I'm not gonna do this because this has a terabyte of storage, so it will take too long for the video, but um, that's just what you do. And also, if it's still not working, your charging port may need cleaning as there may not be a secure connection. So just get an old brush and rub the bristles of the toothbrush inside the charging port. Give that a good clean and then try again and that should solve all problems.